Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at graph transformations. This is one of three videos about translations, reflections and enlargements. The links to the other two videos will be in the description. So, we've got a curve here, y equals f of x, and we're going to focus on the coordinate 1 minus 2. If we add 3 to this uh, curve, so the equation of the curve and then add 3, uh, it moves the entire curve up by 3 squares. If I subtract 4 from the curve, from the equation of the curve, it moves it down by 4 squares. We're focusing on the y coordinate here because we're moving up and down. And so we move up or down uh, 3 spaces or down 4 spaces for the y coordinate. Notice how the y coordinate has gone up by 3, the y coordinate has gone down by 3. Minus 2 has gone down by 4. Minus 2 has gone down by minus 4 to minus 6. So what we can say is f of x plus a is a vertical translation by a units. That means, basically, that adding or subtracting a number from the equation of the curve moves it up or down by that number. Now, y equals f of x here, got a different curve and it's, uh, we're focusing on the coordinate minus 4, minus 5. Now, we're going to look at subtracting or adding inside the bracket. So here, f of x minus 7, where the minus 7 is inside the bracket, moves it to the right by 7 squares. f of x plus 1 moves it to the left by 1 square. Okay? Notice that this time we are changing the x coordinate. So here the x coordinate has gone backwards by 1, and here the x coordinate has gone up by 7. So f of x minus a is a horizontal translation by plus a units. Now just notice here uh, that uh, the uh, because we're going minus with a, we're going up by a units, and if it was up x plus a, we would go down by a units. Basically, adding or subtracting a number inside the brackets moves the curve left or right. Be really careful here. Adding a mover, adding a number moves it to the left, makes it more negative, and subtracting moves it to the right, more positive. It goes in the opposite direction with this one. So be really careful. Okay. You might want to screenshot this page now, or even make a really nice poster yourself to remember this information. If you're ready, there's some practice questions for you trying here. I like to sketch the graph of these transformations and label the coordinates of the peak. So this coordinate minus 4, 3, I want you to tell me where that coordinate moves to after these transformations. You might want to screenshot this uh, and print it so you can try it yourself, or you might just want to copy it into your books and try sketching a copy of this graph yourself. Remember to label the new coordinates of the peak every time. I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. We cover GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths, so remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.